So for the first part of the routine, we're gonna focus on more self myofascial release or self massage. We're gonna be utilizing a lacrosse ball today, but like I previously stated, you can use a tennis ball, a baseball, whatever you have that can really kind of dig into some of these muscles. Uh, I've got both a doorway that I'll be utilizing and my wall here. So that way I can get to some of these muscles on the back as well as the chest. So for the pecs who really wanna focus on the pec major, the pec minor, as well as the subclavius, which comes right underneath the collarbone here. So we're just gonna take this lacrosse ball and kind of hit all over them. So I'll put this in the doorway, just like so. You see the ball, and then I just press into there. I find a gnarly spot, and then I just hold, breathe through it. If you want, you can throw some arm movements. So you can see my arm in the background overhead. If you're new to this, take your time, okay? We don't need to do anything too crazy. You don't need to make a bruise. We're really just gonna hold an area for anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute, two minutes max. So now I'm gonna switch over to the pec minor. Find a gnarly spot here. Oop, that was quick. I'm gonna hold it, like I said, 30 seconds to one minute. And we're not really going for changing any fascial position or breaking down tissue. This is more so just to reduce the tone of the muscle. We're trying to change the relationship between the muscle and the brain, so that way it's just not as tight. So now after we've done the pec major and the pec minor, we're gonna go for the subclavius right up in here. Here, I'll even show you all from this angle. And I just find that spot right underneath the collarbone. Now I can go back and forth. If you're having trouble finding the subclavius, really just focus right here at the bottom of that collarbone. You can even just run your fingers in through it. So now that we've reduced some tone through the pec, we're going to target the more posterior aspects of the shoulder blade. So the posterior aspects of the shoulder blade and some of these muscles that will really give us trouble are the rhomboids, low trap, and upper traps. So we're gonna start with the low traps located right through here. And then we'll work our way to the rhomboids located there. After that, we're then going to hit the upper traps. How I'm gonna hit these is I'm just gonna take the ball, place it right here, and then I'm just gonna lean back against the wall. Nothing crazy here, just find a gnarly spot and I'm tracking right up and down between the shoulder blade. I don't wanna be on the bone itself, so stay off the shoulder blade, stay off the spine. You're not gonna hurt anything, but it's not gonna feel the best and you're really not gonna get a change. So after I've hit the low trap, I'm then gonna go right between the shoulder blade. I typically find that actually if I go a little bit lower on it, that I can roll down the wall onto the rhomboids between the shoulder blades. Like I said, I started just below more of where I was with the low traps. Come down, squat a little bit. Oof, feels good, right? Like I said, we're not trying to break up any knots or anything. We're just reducing some tone. So for the upper trap, we really wanna utilize the doorway again. So in this case, I'm gonna hit my left upper trap. So I'm gonna take that ball right there. This can be pretty intense. So I like to position myself to where tackling the doorway. So I'll put my butt kind of up against this side of the door put the ball here at the top, lean over, and right about there I'm hitting it. You can kind of see it's pinned up against here. Now, there's a lot of nerves through this area. Like I feel this all the way up in my forehead. Comment below if you also feel this up into your forehead and your teeth. Uh, I should probably do this a little more often. When hitting this area, be nice. You don't have to beat yourself up. Again, we're just trying to get some nice fluffy work. So I've hit around the chest. I've hit the shoulder blade, I've hit between the shoulder blades. And now the last little piece I wanna hit is the serratus and the lat. So I know I had mentioned that we're just gonna be using a lacrosse ball for most of these self massage activities, but to really hit the lat and the serratus as well as you can, a foam roller can work really well. You can also use a towel, just lay it on the floor, rolled up and you can kind of get the same effect. But, so we're gonna hit the lat with this and we can kind of hit these in all like one big sweep. Just think here to here and we can roll over the two of them so i'm going to lay on my side on the lat and i'm just going to rotate forward and backwards you'll feel it kind of bounce around Ooh, like that feels really good this is more lat right now so i'm focusing on more like the lateral posterior portion of the rib cage now if i want serratus i just go more forward so you'll see i'll just roll forward oh up and down side to side Find the worst spot you can, breathe into it. Really with the serratus, we wanna utilize the breath to sort of expand into these structures. So you're trying to get those ribs to like pop out and like get in between each one with your breath. 